I kind of love it the way we're exploring the world in order to find some more of these dungeon entrances. Really cool. I still don't exactly know what I'm doing with all these things that I'm collecting, but I'm pretty sure I will be needing them for something at one point. Maybe upgrading my tools, uh, purchasing better weapons and stuff like that. Probably. The Hinton Bucks, I mean. Oh gosh, look at those eyes. Oh, I do not like this at all. <laughs> this looks so creepy. Oh gosh. Straight into battle, of course. Not a chance. Hey, get over here. There we go. What is that? All right, that was easy. Hmm. Um. I think you gotta put this one on that platform. Yeah. There we go, leave it over there. For the next one. I got nothing. And for this one. Also got nothing. Oh, you know what? You gotta give it to this. There we go. And now push this bad boy. Okay. And hmm. And then there's this one. Oh wait, this one is giving me a chest. I have almost four thousand hinted bucks. That's awesome. That's actually pretty cool. Can I maybe spawn one of these balls here and use it to uh, clear the path? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, that's um. Oh, I think I know. I think I know. I think I gotta grab one of these balls. Put it there. Exactly. And there we go. We made it. Awesome. Uh, is there a queue for this dungeon? You standing in line? <laughs> Actually, I'm working. Thank you. I'm waiting. I'm writing a piece in the slaying fads for Crooked Magazine. You've probably heard of it. So you're not venturing on? No, unless my editor pays me to. But hey, you're going in deeper, right? I could um really use a first-hand account. <laughs> I can do that. Great, cool. I hang out at the uh, Krampus Bar most nights, you know, for research. Not because I like the place. Stop by if you have any time. All right, buddy. I will, I will. I absolutely love it that as we're going to keep on exploring through here, uh, you're also going to have moments kind of like meet the locals or the tourists that come on over uh, get a little bit lower as well. Not just fighting the dungeons. This game is just more about... Uh, there's just much more about this game, right? Not just fighting. Not just uh, dungeoning, I guess. Doing dungeons. Dungeoning. Did I just say dungeoning? <laughs> oh, man. All right, there we go. Uh, jump. I think that's the exit, right? Is it? I don't even know. But the thing is, I came inside the uh, dungeon here, but I haven't really fought any really crazy enemies yet. So we definitely have to do more here. Hmm. How do I get in there, though? You gotta find a way to get inside there somehow. And I would guess that it's through here. Oh my gosh. There we go. Easy mission. Small HP potion. We got four of them. Nice. I haven't really needed to use any of them yet. But uh, if I'm going to have to, I will. 
Oh gosh. The heck? Magic shield. Some enemies are protected by regeneration magic shields, indicated by the additional green uh, bar above their heads. Use magic skills to deplete the shields. Uh huh. Just a reminder, if you're in need of uh, MP, heavy sword attacks, regenerate it. Okay. <laughs> Get out of here, buddy. Oh gosh. What the heck? What the heck? Did he actually do that? Put his head through the freaking ground? <laughs> oh man, this game. Oh my god, I got destroyed. Wait, I, uh, I wanted that mana. Unfortunately, I could not get it. Dang it. Is he seriously doing this again? <laughs> what the heck, dude? Hey, it's done. Awesome. That was such a weird, 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 weird creature. All right. Uh, next, I think I gotta get to this golden minecart. I did lose just a tiny little bit of health. Nothing bad. What? Oh, what the? What is this? What the heck was that? Can I go back as well? I think I can, yeah. Uh, give me a second, give me a second. Before I do anything, I see that there's a minecart over there. That is cool. There we go. Uh, I think we also have to do a little bit of that. That's how you lower it down. That is so cool. No, seriously? Let's do that then. <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. Alright, before I go with it, hold up, I think there might be a secret. Uh, if I jump in here. Hey, I knew it. Look at that. Thank God I went back. Guess we found a chest with 77 and a coin of abandonment. Yes, we got two of them. So if I go into the uh, inventory here, others. Uh, there we go. We got two of them. So we got the abandoned mine shaft in the abandonment beginner dungeon. So I basically got both of the coins in both of uh, the levels so far. I hope I can actually find all of them. I really, really hope so. I am a, a huge completionist when it comes to these type of games. I love completing everything and finding everything there is. Let's jump into this one next. Ooh. Oh, I think this one is taking me in circles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go right then. Aha. Okay, I know, I know, I know. So they're all kind of like taking me in circles. Okay. Oh my gosh. I love this. This is so cool. Oh, uh, <laughs> that was awesome. There we go. I don't know what happens when you hit those walls. I really don't want to find out either. Pretty sure you just lose health. Whoa. Holy smokes, dude. This game is awesome. Exploring through the dungeons here is actually super unique. Did not expect this out of this game. Uh, as I was saying, before I decided to play this game, I just kind of like saw a little bit of gameplay from developers, some trailers and stuff like that. Uh, but that was enough for me to kind of like know that I will absolutely love this game. But uh, this game is much, much better than I thought. It has some really, really unique puzzle solving. And uh, that is actually getting me quite intrigued. Uh, let me grab this one as well. There we go. To fill up my uh, stuff. Let me push this button to see what this does. Aha. Uh -huh. What if I go that way, though? Let me go like this, I guess. Hmm. Quite a bit of uh, stuff we're going to have to uh, explore here. Let me just find out what this is going to take us first. So. Oh. 
Oh, I get it, I get it. So I gotta jump up here. And I gotta do that. Okay. okay. Grab the chest first. 1,000! Dude, we got 5,000! Interbucks. Are you kidding me? We got so much. Alright, next. Let me push the button. Just like that. Let me turn it around. Okay. Uh, oh, I think I can also go through the top there if I'm not mistaken. I think that one might open as well. I think it is possible. Let me try it out. Let me try it out. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's not. Because it's not connected. Uh, okay, let me go back up here, turn to the left. There we go. Let me push up the button, and now I'll go exploring. Alright, uh, next, I'm gonna have to turn that one. I guess like that. Yeah, I think we're good now. Go, turn this one around, go back this way. Nice. There we go, finally. That was cool. That was really, really cool. Oh gosh. What the heck is this? I cannot believe I just dropped that thing on its head. That was perfect. Get over here. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Come on, damage it. No. Woo. Oh, shoot. I do not like that at all. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I cannot do anything to these things. Wait, I need mana. All right. There we go. This thing is absolutely destroying me right now. Dang it. No! Awesome. I will destroyed you with that bomb. I am getting a little bit damaged, but to be honest, not that bad. And I haven't even used one of my potions to heal myself. I didn't really need it, to be honest. Hey! Get out of here. Let me use it once. There we go. And she's done. Nice. That was way too good. I've been uh, currently playing this game for about an hour or so, and uh, I've been having an absolute blast with this. And I think this one was the boss that we had to deal with. That was super fun. I'm having an absolute blast with this game. Complete the dungeon. And there we go. The stamp is on. Nice. That was so good. And of course, every single time you put a stamp on, when you finish up the quest, that's when the uh, dungeon itself is going to open up and let you get out. That's so cool. And we're back. Day two, evening. Man, this is so lovely. I couldn't be played this game for about uh, one hour. And uh, I've been really, really enjoying it so far. So, how was it? Much better. It was tough, but I feel like I was in control most of the time. I actually think I can handle this. And the spell casting? My skin is still tingling. I hope the feeling won't go away anytime soon. I've never felt so focused. Like, every piece of me did exactly what I was supposed to be doing. I know. It's something else, huh? Yeah, it is. Are you going to explore the village tonight? I 
I think it's about time. I think I'd take a stroll. It's about time I have a look around. Well, if I know Hinterberg, you've uh, met a few people by now. Go and have a look around. If you run into any trouble, you know where to find me. Not just that a place like Hinterberg attracts lots of people you wouldn't normally meet. A lot of them will also help you out in the many ways. You spend time with them. I've seen the big journal sticking out of your backpack. Give me that for a second, will ya? Damn, I added some notes on different folks around here and how they might help you out. Ah, what? So we got Albert, the Belgian professor. MP slot increase. Oh, okay, so I think what happens here is that basically the game is telling me that I can increase my relationship with all these characters in the world. And the more I increase my relationship with them, basically the powerful I become, right? The more powerful I become. So for example, if I increase my level one perk with uh, Albert here, I get one more extra MP slot. I get it. Unlock a character compendium. Does that mean that I can... <gasps> a dog? No way. Can I have a pet? Help find a hidden dungeon. No freaking way. Aw, oh, man. This game is getting better and better. Thanks. I'll have a look at those. Don't get me wrong. You should really hang out with uh, whoever finds interesting. There's so many interesting people here. Um, way more than you can uh, fit into a vacation. The notes are just there in case you've uh, under... The notes are just there just in case you're uh, undecided or stuck. Um, do with them whatever you want. And look at that, relationship level up. Your relationship with Alex has improved. You are now acquainted. Uh, you can now look up relationship perks that you can get to hang out with people. Awesome. One more thing. Uh, the shop around here don't stay open all night. You should make sure you get your shopping done before you go out in the party. There's a pharmacy down the main square. Uh, they're hanging out free potions today. Here, let me mark it down on the map. So I'm guessing this is the pharmacy, right? That I'm also going to set a waypoint because I want to go there and get myself some uh, free stuff. I got to run. Catch you again soon, okay? All right. Passing time. Passing time. Time passes when you start an activity such as going into a dungeon or hanging out with a fellow old slayer. Always plan ahead for tomorrow's adventure and hit the shops before uh, starting on a, on, a, on evening activities. Well, I think what I'm going to do... I can, of course, use this one to fast travel as well if I want to. The thing is, I don't really want to fast travel, to be honest. Uh, at the same time, I will also want to make my way to this fella. Isn't this the guy that I met in the dungeon that I'm supposed to chat with? He is. Hey, good, you came. Sure did. You ready for the interview? Let's get inside this dump and grab a drink. I should really get my shopping done before hanging out here. At the very least, I should get the free potions from the pharmacy that Alex mentioned. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to come back to this fella in a bit. Let me just go to the pharmacy first. And actually get my stuff. Okay. So many places. Where is it even the... Uh, oh, I'm all the way up here. I mean, I guess I could just go around like that. Yeah, I guess this works. And from here, I guess I can get to the pharmacy, right? Yep, there we go. Found it. Alright, so basically the promotional HP bottle. Got it. Just one. For the rest of them, I gotta spend a lot of uh, hinter bucks, but I don't really want them to be honest. I think I think I'm good. I think I'm good for now. We got the hinter bank as well. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's a restaurant. Look at this place. Good evening, Frolin. Do you have a reservation? Uh, no. Could I just get a table for one? I'm sorry for all the reservations only. Gosh. Can I make a reservation? 
I'm afraid we are uh, fully booked for the next two weeks. Are you serious right now? This place has really good ratings. Maybe someone in Hinterberg could pull up some strings for me? Aw, oh, man. Are you kidding me? I really wanted to explore a little bit here. Yeah, but um, not just yet. Probably gonna have to meet somebody, make some uh, better friends, and then eventually that person's gonna actually uh, take me with them. Maybe themselves are gonna have like a reservation, I'm gonna be able to uh, make use of. Man, this place looks super, super lovely. Alright, and we are back to the tourist area. Hey, good evening, Frolin. May I ask for your business at the Grand Hotel? Uh, I'd like to your go... Uh, I'd like to go to your bar. Our bar is reserved for guests, Frolin. Unless you have been invited by a guest, I'm afraid I can't let you in. Gosh, thank it. So I'm guessing every single one of these locations is gonna kind of like be locked. Hmm. Oh, hey! Do you again. How's the adventure today? Not bad. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. So, how about some ice cream? It's been a slow evening, to be honest. A bit of company would be really nice. The shops are going to close soon, so do I have everything that I need for tomorrow? Spending my evening at the ice cream stand would probably add to the uh, amusement. Yeah, let's spend some time here. It's completed, look at that. You're really killing it, huh? You know that? I've been here for weeks, and I've only finished two dungeons. What's your secret? Mm, not working two jobs? <laughs> uh, it's not so bad. I have a Sundays off, and I can usually get a couple of monsters in my lunch breaks. And the people here are so interesting. Everybody's doing something extraordinary just by coming here. Beats waiting tables back home for sure. Oh, what the heck? Welcome to nice ice cream. How may I? One scoop of cherry, one black licorice. Here you go. Enjoy your stay. Mm. Okay. Did you see that? So rude. Yeah, that was uh, Renaud Dupont. Uh, his broadsword can split the perch right in half. Isn't that amazing? He's staying at the Grand Hotel. Boy, would I love to see the rooms in this place. Probably a jewel. Right. Just imagine the cocktail menu. I should start closing up here. My landlord asked me to help with uh, something over at the inn. So, a third job then? <laughs> More of a personal favor. But thanks for hanging out tonight. It does get a little lonely sometimes. Marina energy seems limitless. Just talking to her makes me feel like... Uh, my like, my endurance is growing. Oh, so maybe that's what's gonna happen, right? If I keep on uh, increasing my relationship with her, my endurance is just gonna keep on growing? Yes, look at that. Your dodge stamina has increased. You can now dodge more often. No way. Ah, oh, that was such a good choice then. And I'm saying this because dodging in these type of games is super duper important. And of course, look at that. It is nighttime. Uh, we can actually see what we have done today, right? Like, renowns, amusement, familiarity, and stuff like that. There are four key ingredients to a good vacation in Hinterberg. Relaxation, amusement, familiarity, and your renown as a slayer. These social stats go up depending on how you spend your evenings. Your renown also increases whenever you complete a dungeon. You will find that some people won't hang out with you unless you are strong or a particular start. Ah, uh, a stat actually. Likewise, some of the weapons and armor you find will require to reach a certain level in one of the stats for another to use them. Interesting. I woke up back by the smell of heavy wood and unfamiliar brand of detergents. This room is starting to feel like a home. Hey, no way. Look at that. We actually leveled up our relationship with two people today. That was super good. We got new skills. We got a new sword. Awesome. I can't wait to get into bed. Day was exhausting. Well, you know what, guys? Uh, I'm loving this game. This is actually a very, very special game. Uh, as I was saying, I kind of like saw a little bit of uh, how the game is going to go in the trailer and the gameplay from the developers. But I didn't thought, I didn't think it's going to be this, this actually fun. Uh, I'm loving this game. I'm absolutely loving this game. And if you guys are interested in the game, you want to grab for yourselves, check out the links down below the description. The game is available right now. The game is available also on Game Pass. If you have that and you want to give it a try, go ahead and give it a try. I'm definitely going to keep on playing this one. This one is definitely going to become a brand new series on this channel. So if you want to see more, make sure you like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.